Good morning, YouTubers. It's it's raining. Ready for the first test. I like to burn the oil heater with vegetable oil, it's sunflower oil. And uh, the difference with kerosene is that the flame point is twice as high. Uh, kerosene is 60 degrees Celsius. Then it will burn, and this oil should be 120, 125 or 150. So I have to preheat very long, and uh, perhaps it it won't burn. We will see. Now it's the same setup. I will ignite ignite the alcohol. It's burning now. You can see that. Normally, in daylight, you can't see the alcohol burning. Right now, you can see it. I put the burning chamber over it, and it's direct, very hot. You can hear he's burning, but that, that's the alcohol. I come back in a few minutes. After about uh, 10 minutes, the alcohol was gone and the oil was still there, it didn't burn. Um, it was not uh, hot enough, it was not boiling. Now I try another concept. I put some nuts over here, so the tin can is a little bit higher in the alcohol. And I did make some holes in the burning chamber, because I did have three flames to heat this up and that's not enough now i like um, i try to uh, to do it better actually this is oil what should never burn from its own you need a lid or a wick and uh, i just try if i can let it burn without a wick and actually you should you should uh, drip it or make a little drops and then it put it in the can and then it will burn when it is preheated so sunflower heating take three alcohol is burning now the fire chamber goes up Now we have to wait. Yeah, he's burning. It's uh, very cold. Perhaps uh, he's cooling down too quick to keep the, the oil on the right temperature. We will know that in about five minutes. This is the situation after about one minute. It is surprising me because I have um, Orange, orange flames, that means that there is uh, already burning oil. It's very hot. Now you can see in the burning chamber that everything is burning. The, the, the air, air uh, oils are working very good. Much better as yesterday. And I hope he will ignite the vegetable oil. It looks like there's no smoke, only hot air, it doesn't smell. Oh, look at that. Big flames. Yes, that's definitely the oil what's burning. You can hear the oil boiling. It's going to rain right now, and that's... Uh, not what I like uh, by this kind of experiment. It keeps me warm. I like it. I have a fire tornado. <laughs> it looks like it works. Right now, after about seven minutes, the alcohol is gone and he's burning on the oil now. The air holes are working very good. I can look into the holes and see the, the oil is burning. This is what I 
like to have. Now I know that I have, uh, I can uh, burn oil with a flame point from about 125 de degrees Celsius. But you have to heat it up. You have to preheat it. And the the tin can was uh, about 100 cc. So I have to drip it. That's better. And now after about 10 minutes he's full functioning. The oil is boiling, you can hear it. I have the flames on the right place. But I have a little bit smoke. And I know for sure that this is uh, because I have too much oil in the burning chamber. When I make a drip system, this will be gone. The smoke will be gone. It's burning beautiful now. You can see it in the air holes. He's taking air there and he's making his flames here almost blue. He's burning very quiet and very slowly. That's what I like. And now we have to make a system to co control it. I'm about one meter away and uh, I can feel him. You see it's a little bit black smoke that will be gone after another construction. It's burning now about 15 minutes and he's working on his own now. He's preheating himself and so on and so on and so on. I have to make this last piece of video uh, inside because it's raining very very hard. It's very cold. Just one degree above zero. Uh, is Celsius. Um, all the oil is uh, gone, so the burning was very well. I stop now with this experiment and I go on by building the rip feeder. See you.